No, I really enjoy the show, and as I said, it's not that I like this one more. It's I'm, it's more fun to watch than the original. The original got like sort of some of it's depressing some of it's really not funny it's really dramatic can you kind of talk about the changes that you guys incorporated into this and how much more it's going to diverge from this point on from what we've seen before sure yeah i, I mean i think the australian version is um a, a little bleaker that might be the word that i think describes it it's because it, i think our show has dark humor but that show was um in fact a friend of mine who uh is a writer here also is a he was a huge fan of the Australian show and he he uh, saw the American version and he said what do you what'd you do you took away all the bleakness you, you know and it, I mean I think that that's a personal preference I also think that they were um, it, that's a much more that's a show that was more absurd and surreal than American audiences might embrace I think that American audiences need sort of to understand or at least be be led a little bit uh, more on, as to giving clues about what's going on and what's happening. And I think it was just, um, you know, making it a little lighter. Uh, I, I don't know, I think the Australian version is also funny, but this show goes to a very dark and twisted place as we progress. Um, by the end of the season, we, we answer some questions, we ask a lot more, and uh, the relationships really sort of evolve and deepen. Well, the, the peanut butter thing is a little bit disturbing, and I assume you have to know, I mean, a lot of us here, I put my dogs in a dog hotel for four days, right after I saw this episode, kind of stressing me out. What are my dogs up to? What are they doing? Why would you pour a, sort of put that stress on audience members <laughs> who love their dog and have to go away and put them in a place like this? Well, let me go on record saying I am a dog owner, I am a dog lover, uh, not... not in the way Ed Helms' character was a dog lover, but uh, I, uh, I think also, if you watch the episode, it's never 100% clear that it was actually happening. Um, it may have been just Wilfred's plot to make Ryan feel guilty, and I, I, we try to leave every episode so that it's really up to, it's really up to the audience to interpret what's real and what's not. I, that was one of the things I really liked about the episode because you never know and that the show kind of has that push where you're never sure what Wilfred's up to and as you said you have a dog sometimes you're not sure what your dog is doing because dogs do weird stuff they're not they, they go off track sometimes can you kind of talk about pulling stuff from your dog and I know Jason's dog and some of the dogs that have been around the set absolutely well we didn't really have any dog we had a couple dogs on the set but I, I didn't have time to spend time with them but while I was writing the pilot uh, my I have a wonderful golden retriever who is nothing like Wilfred uh, he's he's very sweet and not at all uh, devious uh, who sat by my side the whole time and and I would watch him for his mannerisms and uh, try to adopt some of the things from from uh, him and put them in the show and he, he inspired me and sadly he died right before we went into production but um, he's uh, he's on my little logo card at the end and I think his his spirit really stays with me no I, you know what he this was his gift to me and and now Wilfred's my dog so uh, I was gonna say yeah that's when I watch my dogs in the, in the eyeballs it's like you're watching a person and sometimes they're so human and I think that's what's great about this show is it pulls that out and puts it, that like conversation out in the open, and because we, we haven't really ever seen that before. I mean, I know there's the Australian version, but this really is kind of new. Have you had? How's the perception been of people coming into it for the first time who haven't seen the Australian? Who haven't seen the Australian yeah, version? And sort of their idea with the, what you guys are doing, humanizing this dog to this point. I think people are um, confused in a good way and curious. Um, I mean, I think we dogs are extraordinary creatures. There's no, there's no animal more suited to be a companion to to man. And it's, uh, I think people feel an extraordinary bond to their dog. I don't know anybody who doesn't, you know, have a voice for their dog or imagine what their dog says to them. And I think this show actually gives voice to a dog. And I think a lot of people. Um, just as on Family Guy, when people used to always react to the Stewie character and say, that's exactly like my baby. Well, no, your baby probably isn't trying to kill your, your you know, its mother, but <laughs> you hope not. But um, there definitely are uh, characteristics that we ascribe to our, dog and, our dogs and, and babies. Um, and Wilford gives us a chance to, to hear a dog actually say those. 
Okay, well, thank you. I love the show, so thank I'm great. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I, Randall says he disagreed with me when I said that, like, the dog owners get more out of it, but he doesn't. He disagreed. Some of them might he did? Yeah. Well, you, can't, you can't listen to Randall. No. no I, was just I, I mean, I think what, what, I, what has been a big surprise to me is how, much, how, many, how many dog owners really like the show because of their connection to dogs. Yeah. To me, it was just like a very weird, unusual buddy comedy, but a lot of people really are, are responding to it because they're dog people, which is great, you know, and it's, it's produced by dog people. I still want to see, like, the dog, but I, that's, I'm the only one on that fence, I guess. Well, you know why we don't. Because, no, I know, because you would break that line of the whole, what the whole show's about. Right, well, the, the, whole, I, the whole point of view of the show is we, the audience, are watching it through Ryan's eyes. We only know and see what Ryan sees. You, you'll notice there's never a scene where we see Wilfred where we don't also see Ryan seeing Wilfred because the idea was to really have the audience feel everything and discover everything as Ryan discovers it.